Hello, we're going to set up the Gorilla RDWC41S today. We're back in the insulated grow room. It's warm, it's well lit by our lights. This is going to sit on a Euro pallet, which is standard size. It's 80 wide by 120. The board on top is one meter by 120. That's plenty centimeters. That's plenty of room for the 41S. I'm going to go through to get today the contents of the system bit by bit, really quickly, and then we're going to set it up, lay it out, put the pipes in, and um, give you an overview of how it looks. All right, take the lids off. Lid in the center hasn't got a hole, that's for the control bucket. The other four have holes for the baskets. They are going to go in later. We've got this section here, which is the delivery hose and valve. This uh, is valve so you can take samples of the water or empty all the nutrient solution and also put in as well. Leave that to one side. This little bag here has five meters of air hose. It has four air stones and six mil pipe, which is a little bit more rigid, which have little elbows on that dip down and connect to the air stones. That's for later as well. We have waterproof rubber gaskets, 32 mil. These sit in each four grow containers and the pipes go in inside of them. Nice tight seal. Four net pots. This is what you're gonna grow in. You're gonna put in your grow media and put your plants in when they're ready to go. This is the water pump. He goes in the control pot and we'll put him in later. I'll show you how that works. We have an air pump. There's four outlets on here. You connect your five meters of air hose to that and it pumps air to all the air stones in each bucket. A T section that connects the control bucket to the other four and one with a valve on it. And we'll get to the setup of that later. And two more here to, con to connect in the, in the middle. All right. Uh, I'm going to get all the buckets out and lay them out and we'll show you each each section after that. Okay, so we've got the buckets laid out and uh, this is, as I said, the RDWC41S and the difference with the S is the control bucket sits in the center. The 4.1, the control bucket sits on the outside of the four grow buckets, which makes the footprint much, much bigger. So this is a compact solution for, for us. It works really well because we don't have a great amount of room in here. And it also fits into tents, which we're going to explore another time. If we don't have the temperature in this room to grow what we want to grow, we have the option to move this into a tent. And because of its smaller footprint, that's much easier to do. So the next step, we're going to add every single grommet um, gasket, sorry, waterproof rubber gasket, 32 mil into the holes that are pre-drilled in the grow containers. I'm going to go around and do all four grow containers and then the next section as in the instructions is the T section this goes into the control pot and then these two connect to the first outer buckets um, yeah and we'll show you that a bit closer when we get get there okay so we've put all the other grommets in now just want to show you this last one this is the seal that's going to stop water coming out everywhere so it's really important that it sits properly Get him in, it's nice and snug. Make sure there's no kinks inside or outside. And then we'll put our pipes in later. So we've got all the buckets laid out roughly. All of the our little gaskets are in and they're seated nicely. We're happy with how they are. I'll move the control bucket so you can see our first step. So we're going to put in this T section into this bucket and the control, the central bucket, and then we're going to add this corner bucket. Um, these two are last. This is the valve at the front, and this is for the pump and the in and outlet hose. And take this little plastic piece off the end here, and that goes in and dips down and connects to the pump. And then this bit threads onto there. 
and it all connects together. We're going to connect all this up and we'll show you little steps in between uh, if they're important. And yeah, we'll see that. Okay, so we, we're going to show you how we're going to put this in. This is one end of the pipe. We've got a little bowl here with water and a tiny, tiny bit of um, dishwashing liquid. So we'll just dip it in the end here, give it a wiggle around. And these are very, very tight for good reason because they are watertight. And with a bit of twisting, pushing, you can get that through nice and easily. We won't go through too far at the moment, so we can assemble the other ones easy, nice and easily. If I turn that over, you can see just the pipe coming through the bottom there, I hope. Yeah, and that's it. We'll connect the rest and um, show you that later. Okay, so we got to this point where it's assembled roughly. Uh, once it's assembled, you can then go along and adjust the uh, pipes. I'm going to put this pipe down inside the top gasket of the control pipe, uh, the control container, and connect up this last bit here. Great, so we'll adjust all this now and then we'll come back and show you installing the water pump which goes onto this section and then we'll work on the hoses for the air pumps and the air stones. Okay, great, we've adjusted all of our pipes, we've got it to where we want it to be. We're going to put in the water pump and this is obviously submerged in the control bucket in the center. And this little piece we took off the pipe before, put that on there, it's quite tight. Cable obviously goes outside the bucket. He's got little suction cups on, sticks to the bottom. It might take a bit of wiggling and you can get your pipe connected to it. Like that and there is a little notch in the lid of this uh, of this control bucket which we'll show you later So we've got all of our air hoses connected. We took the five meter length and just cut it into four. You might have to adjust that depending on your space requirements. Uh, we're gonna connect them all at the front here and then probably move this to one side to, to avoid dripping or it getting wet. Um, so I'm just gonna connect these up and we'll show you again when we're ready to put water in. It's nearly time, exciting. Okay, okay we just wanted to get you this top down view uh, before we've completes our setup here so we can show you how this RDWC actually works. So this is the control bucket that has a water pump inside here and the water pump pumps water out of this hose down here and splits into these front buckets it then goes this way into the rear two, this way back into this T and then back into the control bucket and the whole thing happens over again. Is it running? Everything's running, yep. Okay.
20 litres and we just cover the pump. The water's in, as I said, then it's 20 litres just to test it. We have um, no leaks and we're going to turn the air on and let the bubbles run for a little bit. All their stones are going. We turn the water point on shortly after this and uh, we have recirculation. There's going to be lots more videos on this. We're going to germinate some seeds and start to grow pretty soon in the next couple of weeks. Okay, stay tuned and uh, see you in the next one.